Hey guys, how's it going? Shiloh here. I'm just reading some more of my Mickey Mouse comic strips here. Right here in the comic corner, I should say. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. This is part two of my special commentary video from the previous episode of the Disneyland Vlogs. Disneyland Vlog number 153. By the way, the day I'm uploading this video is on September 10th, 2020, which means that this is my eight-year anniversary on YouTube. Not for the Disneyland video series, but for my whole Sean Allen Films brand. Anyways, this is part two of my special commentary from the previous episode. By the way, this is all about my very first Disneyland vlog. The vlogs began way back in March of 2013. Still can't believe it was already almost eight years ago that I first uploaded that video. But anyways, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, check out the link down below in the description of this video. This will be like going down memory lane, so enjoy the vlog. See you at the very end of the video. Okay, so I'm now heading into the Jungle Cruise. I'm just kidding, actually, I'm heading into downtown Disney. This literally looks like the entrance to the Jungle Cruise. Look at this. Holy cow, look at this. I want a backyard like this someday. This is really nice. Here we go. There's downtown Disney, right over there. Oh my goodness, they've got a huge Lego figure, two huge Lego figures of Belle and the Beast. Look at that. That is unbelievable. A lot of Legos were sacrificed to make these figures. <laughs> that is great. Yeah, really. By the way, stuff like this gets me really excited when I see like these Lego monstrosities and like just how elaborate these things are. It's just incredible. Just the hours of time spent to make these, I mean, works of art. I mean, some people may not think of it as works of art, but I certainly do because, you know, it's just so cool, right? Now I got Buzz Lightyear and Woody blasting off from RC Race Car from Toy Story. That was awesome. Here is Prince Philip and Maleficent up there, the dragon. My goodness, that is unbelievable. And there's the world of Disney right over there. We'll go there in just a second. Here's a cool fountain right there. There are the trams. You don't need to worry about the trams because we're at the hotel. We're going into the world of Disney store because I want to check up on a couple of things. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, we are here at the resort. Here's the choices. We have Disneyland over here to my left. We have California Adventure over there to the right. Both really good parks, but today we're going to California Adventure because I was here last week at Disneyland. Now we're going to check out California Adventure. I'm super excited. Here we go. What? I was there a previous day? <gasps> what? A previous week, actually. Yeah, so the reason why is because I was actually setting up my annual pass for Disney, so I had to go there like a week or so before I did all this. And I just spent a day there, literally, because I wanted to. And I forget what day it was, but it was in January. The day that I went there... Both Disneyland and Disney Comfort Venture completely, completely empty. Unbelievable. I went on so many rides that day. It was unbelievable. So, yeah. But it was fun, though. All right, you guys. I am here in California Adventure. This is amazing. Check it out. They really did a nice job remaking this whole park. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm just checking stuff out. I just got here. Uh, I guess I better start filming. So, here we go. By the way, the reason I say that they did a nice job is because I think like a few months prior to me filming this, they had just opened up Cars Land and Buena Vista Street. I remember walking through the gates around the time when they first opened Disney California Adventure. Back then it was called Disney's California Adventure. I think we were there like a month after that it opened. Yeah, kind of nostalgia there because my mom was there a month after Disneyland opened. I was there a month after Disney California Adventure opened, so that's pretty cool. But I remember walking through the gates for the first time through Disney California Adventure and seeing utter chaos <laughs> because it was just so, like, random. It was so weird because it was unlike Disneyland, okay, where there was order. It was just stuff everywhere. But the thing was that back then, there weren't as many rides, okay? I would say there was probably a third of the rides that you would expect to see in a Disney park at Disney Comfort Adventure. It was just 
empty. Like, they had a lot of shops, they had a lot of restaurants, but a, a lot of the stuff was taken over by, like, things that really you wouldn't expect to see in a park. It was almost like, I mean, originally when they were coming up with Disney's California Adventure, they were considering it making it like an Epcot Center. In fact, that's what they were planning on doing, making another Epcot. In this respect, when they opened up Disney California Adventure for the very first time, it was kind of like an Epcot Center, but specifically for California. So, I can see the the direction they were trying to go, but it just wasn't executed the correct way, and that's why a lot of fans of Disneyland were very confused with the park. They didn't like it as much, and the tennis was so low. And they basically went back to the drawing table and said, okay, let's try again. And honestly, they did a fantastic job with all the new lands, and I'm so looking forward to when Avengers Campus opens up and, you know, get to see all that stuff. I actually was looking on Twitter, the Quinjet is there. That is so cool. So I just left Hollywood back a lot, and now I guess where I'm at. First time, here we go. That's Mater, everybody. Right here at the Cozy Cone Motel. That was my first time meeting Mater. In fact, you know what? I think when I first tried out the annual pass. I thought I went to Disney California Adventure. I don't think I did. I think I just went to Disneyland. So I guess I left Disney California Adventure for this particular day and I tried out Cars Land for the first time to get my first reactions to it and this is cool. But we are on the fun wheel here at Disney's California Adventure. I'm at the very top, but the very top of the Ferris wheel. There is Cars Land right over there. There's Paradise Pier. Over there is the Story of California. Look at that. Disneyland is right over there. And there's the California Hotel. And we are... We are not moving. I don't know why, but uh, it's kind of making me nervous. Oh, there we go. It's moving out. <laughs> Anyways, that made me nervous. <laughs> I got something. I won something. And I will show you it when I uh, get back to the hotel tonight. Okay. Here it comes. It's going to go around the loop. Here we go. Yeah, there's nobody on there. They're having some problems with that roller coaster today for some reason. I have a good day so far. I might go and get some lunch at Main Street. So I can see from here that the... Uh, that the Main Street Station is still not open, so I'm coming back in February definitely to record that. Okay, this is confusing. The exit sign is to the right, but if we go to the right, look where we end up. Hmm. I don't think that's the exit. Wow, this area where I'm standing right now is absolutely empty. That's where we were on just now, the fun wheel. Look, you see those little bubbles right over there in the water? That's where World of Colors will be performing tonight at 8 o'clock. And I'm going to be here. That is going to be an amazing, amazing show. I've seen so many videos of this, and it's just going to be incredible. Hey, there's this, <laughs> this seagull over there. All right, you guys, I'm heading back to the hotel, and I'm going to unload a few things, and I'm going to take care of a couple of other things. And, uh, yeah, so it's been a great day so far. So I just left Disney's California Adventure. That was a lot of fun. Now we're going to be heading over to Disneyland. Well, in a little bit. I'm actually heading back to my hotel to drop off a few things. Oh, look, there's Monorail Blue. That guy's walking up there. <laughs> if you guys ever come to the Disneyland Hotel, make sure you try to get the Frontierland Tower because this is especially cool over here with all the uh, decorations. Oh, not the decorations, just the scenery. It's really, really nice. Look, you got to got a fountain over here, you got a geyser over there. What more could you ask for? <laughs> Boy. Well, I made it back to the hotel and I doing okay. There's the view of park. Oh my goodness, it is getting a little cloudy. Set up all my footage. And head back into Disneyland. Oh, you're probably wondering what exactly did I get. Well, I was playing a game and it was a game that was like, uh, kind of like a, a booth style game. Anyways, um, what it, the deal is that you're supposed to shoot water, uh, you're supposed to have a water cannon and you shoot water at a target. If you make the target, you know, you win the prize. 
Um, we had to do it for a certain amount of time. Well, there were two prizes. There was one that was the mouse. By the way, this game was based on Dumbo. So the first prize was a small prize, that was uh, the mouse. And the second prize was a medium prize, and that was Dumbo. <laughs> well, of course, I want to go one up. So after a couple of tries, I got the mouse. And so I want to go up one more. So after a couple more tries, I got Dumbo. It's Dumbo. That's right, I got a Dumbo. Now, believe it or not, I actually had a Dumbo toy many years ago, much like this one, only it was much smaller. Much, much smaller. Aw, oh, Dumbo, the Dumbo toy. Uh, don't worry, I still have the Dumbo toy. You may have noticed that my original display is no longer here, but don't worry, he's still here. He's just in a different location. But, true story and true fact, I did used to have a much smaller Dumbo toy that my grandparents got me many, many years ago on my second trip to Disneyland. And I don't know what happened to it. I guess it either got damaged or something. I don't know. But I had it for a while, and then it disappeared. And then years went by. I had pictures of it. And then I think I saw a YouTube video where somebody actually won this thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to look for that game, and I'm going to win that thing. I almost didn't win the game, but I, on my last attempt, I won Dumbo. And I was so happy to get the Dumbo toy because I was not going to leave that game without getting Dumbo. So that was a fun, fun game. And that's not the only toy I got. You can't be at Disney without getting a Mickey Mouse toy. Yay! So yes, I got a Mickey Mouse toy. I think it's my first plush Mickey Mouse toy. There you go. And Dumbo is going to be here. These are the only two plush toys I'm planning on getting, I promise. And yes, so those, I accomplished two goals there. And that was to get Dumbo and to get Mickey Mouse. You know what? I think that's a fact because ever since I was little, even though I watched a lot of the Mickey Mouse cartoons, Donald Duck, Goofy, the animated features, and even the live action movies, I don't think I ever got a Mickey Mouse toy. I mean, when I was a, I think I was an infant or something where I had like a baby version of Mickey Mouse, but not like a Mickey Mouse like this. Now, this was the one that I was having a problem with, if I should get it or not. Apparently, I was able to get a discount on it, which was good. I don't know if you guys have seen my vlogs lately, but I mentioned that there was a very, very, very big star speeder that is from Star Tours. Um, and guess what? I decided to get it! Yes! You'll be seeing this in a very special video that I'm going to be making about Star Tours. That's right. This is the new star speeder that's being used currently at uh, Disneyland and Walt Disney World and any of the Disney theme parks. And I'm thirsty. Yeah, you're thirsty. <laughs> and speaking of that star speeder, yes, I still have it. In fact, it's right here. Here's the Star Speeder 1000. By the way, if you've ever seen like behind the scenes features of like the original Star Wars movies where they had like the models of like the X-Wing or the Millennium Falcon or even the Death Star, they were just gigantic models, okay? They didn't actually build life-size like ships. Well, I mean, they did for like close-ups for like the X-Wing and whatever, but I mean, actually flying them. They were only big models like this. So if you were to put a green screen behind this right here, it would look like it was flying through space. Like, look, it looks gigantic on camera, but really, it's only like the size of my arm. Now, I'm going to head over to Main Street Station, at Main Street, I used to say, and uh, have a little fun there. I'm going to get myself what they call a hot, uh, mac and cheese hot dog. I'm going to try that out. It's going to be for a Main Street video I'm working on. You know that little hot dog I was telling you about? It's in a very special episode entitled Mealtime at Disneyland. Want to check that out? Link is right down there in the description of this video. That was the start of my most popular series on this channel, Mealtime at Disneyland, with a mac and cheese hot dog. Okay, well that lasted a little longer than I thought, but I did it, and now I'm heading to Disneyland. Well, as you can see, I just posted a vlog it says I'm at Disneyland onto Facebook. So basically, I, I, it's funny because I do have internet here. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. We're headed back to California Adventure to see World of Color.
And now we come to the part of the video where we have to blot out the sound due to copyrights and restrictions and blah, blah, blah. Yes, this is World of Color. This was the night that I went to see World of Color. And, and let me just say, it was a blast. I've seen so many videos on YouTube and on podcasts, and I've heard the music. And I literally just was amazed at this show. If you haven't seen this show yet, is at Disney's California Adventure. Uh, it's really cool. Not only do they have special water effects, but they also have pyro effects. In other words, they use flames as well, like what you're seeing right now for the segment for Pirates of the Caribbean. It used to be a segment for uh, Night on Bald Mountain. And this is the grand finale. And the grand finale is just unbelievable, too. They have this huge wall of color just spewing out in the air. And it's just unbelievable. They also have the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster in the background interactive as well. So if you guys haven't checked out World of Color, come over to Disney California Adventure. It's a lot of fun. And you'll really love it. And just like that, we have finished part one of this very special vlog series. Hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to check out my other content right over here, as you can see. Over here is my, uh, my what is over there? Well, something's over there. My Sean Films educational series, no doubt. And over here is the vlog series channel. Down here are the links to the very special Disneyland video series Twitter and Facebook pages. Check them out. See you guys next time. This was back in the day when we had the clickable annotations on the, on the YouTube channel. But those were good. I like those. But... Oh my goodness. Anyways, you guys, that is the end of the vlog. This really was a long video. <laughs> well, everybody, that is the end of my special commentary for the very first vlog here on the Disneyland Video Series. The vlogs began. My plan is to eventually do a whole commentary series about the days when I was at Disneyland only for, like, the Disneyland hotels because there's a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes, so I would like to be able to kind of, like, give you guys a little backstory about each of those videos, so... I think it'd be a lot of fun. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other videos here on YouTube, as well as my other channels, the Educational Series, the Vlog Series, and the Travel Town Series. You can find me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description of this video, as well as my PO Box address. All right, buddy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time here on the Design Video Series.